Welcome to Learn with Priyanka. Please watch the entire playlist for all the questions. Question 17. You have a fabric tenant that contains a Microsoft Power BI report named Report 1. Report 1 includes a Python visual. Data displayed by the visual is grouped automatically and duplicate rows are not displayed. You need all rows to appear in the visual. What should you do? A. Reference the columns in the Python code by index. B. Modify the sort column by property for all columns. C. Add a unique field to each row. D. Modify the summarize by property for all columns. Pause the video, think it through, and verify your answer. The correct answer is Option C. Add a unique field to each row. If you thought option A was correct, let me show you why it's not. Let's first rule out options B and D. Option B. Modify the sort column by property for all columns. This option changes the sorting order of the columns, but does not prevent Power BI from automatically grouping rows that have identical values in all displayed columns. Option D. Modify the summarize by property for all columns. This option is relevant for aggregating numerical data within standard Power BI visuals. It does not affect the grouping of rows in a Python visual, where you need to ensure that all rows, including duplicates, are displayed. Option A, reference the columns in the Python code by index, is incorrect. This option means accessing the data in the data frame using numerical indices. For example, df.ieloki index number ein instead of column names like df.fieldName. This method does not affect how Power BI groups or displays the data because it only changes how you access data within the Python script. Assume you have a data frame with duplicates. If Power BI groups these rows, it might send this to the Python visual. Accessing by column names or accessing by numerical indices, both approaches access the same data after Power BI's pre-processing, which means that the method used to reference the data in the Python script doesn't affect whether Power BI grouped the rows or not. So clearly, option A is incorrect because referencing columns by index does not affect how Power BI processes data. The correct approach is to add a unique field to each row, option C, because by adding a unique field to each row, it ensures all rows, including duplicates, are passed to the Python visual and this prevents Power BI from grouping rows and ensures all are displayed. This solution is supported by Microsoft documentation, which states that adding an index field makes all rows unique and prevents grouping. I hope this explanation was helpful. See you with another interesting question. Make sure you like, share and subscribe for more videos.